Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. It's 9.30 and another cloudy day again today. At least it wasn't raining. Uh, looking at our weather statistics for today, high slope got up to 40. With a low of 36, only 4 degrees separated the high and the low today. And that low, uh, that, because of that low being 12 degrees above normal, we were 7 degrees above normal for, wait a minute. Wait a minute, something got screwed up here. I was looking at Bridgeport. Still the same, though. <laughs> uh, so 40 and 35. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, uh, 7 degrees above normal there at Islip. It's just, you know, pathetically only 3 inches of snow uh, for this winter so far. Uh, looking at the satellite, you can see we're just socked in with the clouds here. Just, you know, it's annoying because there's clear weather up in Canada, maybe even parts of Maine. This sunshine in Virginia, North Carolina, but we're just stuck in this cyclonic flow of clouds still. So it's been over a week since we've seen the sun, which is really uh, ridiculous. You can see all the cloud cover across the whole country here, and you can see enveloping much of the east. But you notice eastern Canada is nice and clear. The southeast is clear. There's sunshine also in the Midwest, as well as the southwest, and California as well. So now we're just still sucked in with the clouds, and it's very dreary and very depressing, sure. Uh, so let's look at our... Uh, got a coastal flood advisory for the north shore, I guess from 9 p.m. this evening through late tonight. Um, looking at our current conditions outside right now, 36 degrees... Uh, and yeah, dew points 28, not a big spread there. Actually, Ice Slip is reporting light snow. Well, that's interesting. That's odd. Let's look at the radar. I don't think there was anything on the radar. There isn't anything on the radar. So I wonder why Ice Slip was reporting light snow. You can see there's a little bit of a snow flurry over there. That's kind of interesting that Ice Slip would be reporting light snow, unless that's an old observation. Uh, no, 925. It's kind of weird. Um... Uh, See if uh, yeah, they're not reporting light snow at Shirley. I think it's some kind of mistake or something. The temperature's generally in the mid 30s across the area, and our highs today only around 40, and the lows, yeah, only in the mid 30s. So not really a big uh, range in temperatures today. Uh, let's we'll go to the precipitation and again look at our rainfall. Uh, that we got from the storm. Uh, it turned out to be not as much as we thought. Uh, we didn't get up to an inch and a half. A lot of areas had around an inch on Long Island generally. Around an inch. Around an inch. Um, across Long Island generally. Um, the higher amounts were up north and to the west. Um, you can see there up north and then to the west. You can see some higher amounts. But nothing nothing really crazy everybody got pretty much around an inch of rain it's still given it, it's just an inch on top of what has been an extraordinarily wet january following of an extraordinarily wet and gloomy december as well so uh let's go to the models next and uh we'll take a look and show you before we get get to the models i uh, just want to point out that there was a record in the united kingdom warmest january set in scottish highlands so a new UK high temperature record had been set in the Scottish Highlands. So 67.3 degrees Fahrenheit or 19.6 degrees Celsius. It was hotter there than in Rome and Cote d'Azar. It confirmed it would be the highest January temperature in the UK, breaking a record it set in 2003 by a full degree. So again, a lot of people just aren't experiencing winter this year. Um... So, yeah, let's look at the models, and you'll see that low finally pulling away, but we're going to still be in kind of a cyclonic flow. See a high is trying to wedge down from the northeast, but we're going to be on the southwestern periphery, probably dealing with plenty of clouds. Here comes like a diver type of system here. That's going to stay way to the south of us, uh, and you can still stay in the cyclonic flow. We have to wait until the weekend before we have a strong enough high pressure to clear us out, and then we'll be watching this storm here, which looks like it's going to stay well to the south with a high pressure there, a pretty strong high that would keep it well to the south. Um, and it kind of, this is very unusual. Look at how it just gets pushed down south like that. Very, very, very unusual to see. Um, but other than that, you can see it's going to remain relatively dry for a change. Though it won't be all that sunny. So let's go to the AHRRR. Zero is the AHRRR here. And uh, you see there might be a few uh, overnight 
it's cloudy, and then you can see there could be a few flurries perhaps tomorrow. Um, we, and then that system kind of dives to the south, so we're not going to see any effects from that at all. Uh, but not a whole lot going on with the uh, precipitation. It will be dry. So we got the northern, northerly flow. Uh, turns more easterly tomorrow, so that's probably going to throw in more clouds. Uh, and then uh, as we end the Wednesday, we're still dealing with an easterly wind, so it's still going to mean clouds, unfortunately, I think. Um, if we uh, look at our profile here, take a sounding profile, you'll see probably still dealing with clouds. Yep, yep. Got a stratocumulus ceiling and a lot of upper level moisture, too. So plenty of clouds around, even though we won't be dealing with any more rain. Uh, looking at our temperatures... Probably not going to be dropping all that much tonight because of the cloud cover. And then tomorrow, probably temperatures will be a little bit cooler than today. Probably upper 30s, mid to upper 30s. And uh, tomorrow night, not really dropping that much. And then here we go for Wednesday. Uh, again, maybe upper 30s uh, across our area. Uh, if we want to go further along, we've got to look at the GFS for that. We'll go to our dew points and wind flow here. You'll see this 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 air mass isn't even that cold. And by Thursday, the winds go southwest again. That's going to bring on warmer air. And then here comes the colder air coming in for Friday. Winds go to northwest, and that's when we're going to have hopefully a shot at getting some sunshine. Saturday, you can see the north winds coming in. This will be the dry air Sunday as well. And we'll go up to Monday. I think that will be it. You'll see that we stay in the dry air. Um, we'll stay in that dry air, hopefully, for a number of days. Uh, so temperatures will warm up on Thursday, probably mid to upper 40s, maybe 50 in New Jersey. And then Friday is a day of transition. Uh, and then we drop and then the weekend. We'll probably at night, we'll probably drop into the 20s and highs during the day. Saturday has us in the mid 30s now. So it seems like it's already backed off a little bit from what it was originally showing. Yeah, it's, now it's only showing an upper 30s. So not even that cold. Looks like it was going to be cold, but now it's already pulled back on the cold. So we thought we'd have a couple of days where it wouldn't make it above freezing, but nope, this is an Arctic air, so we're not going to get that. Uh, skies, all right, we'll go to the skies here. Absolutely plenty of clouds around. You see here, this is the GFS showing plenty of clouds, plenty of clouds right through Thursday. Maybe we'll get a little more sunshine on Thursday. More clouds, for fr well, maybe some sun a mix of sun and clouds on Friday, but hopefully the weekend showing some mostly sunny skies. Hopefully, but let's we'll have to see what happens here. This is a ways out. Obviously, I don't trust cloud models that far out. Hopefully, we'll get some more sunshine by the weekend. This has been, this winter has just been an on. I, I see it already. We're going to have to wait for next winter to get a real winter. Maybe next winter we'll actually have a real winter because we didn't have one last year. It doesn't look like we're going to have one this year. And um, so here's tomorrow. Here's the RGM. And you'll see it tries to clear it out overnight and into the morning, but then the clouds kind of come right back in on the easterly wind tomorrow during the day. And then Wednesday, plenty of clouds. Thursday, uh, it's showing a, a good amount of high clouds around. So if you're looking for blue skies, I can't find any for you until maybe the weekend. So that's going to wrap up this weather update. I wish I had better news, but this weather is really just bringing me down. It's bringing a lot of people down. This is one hell of a stretch. This has been, you know, I know it's going to keep getting worse. But, you know, I, you know, even if it was above normal and it was sunny, I could deal with it. But just these cloudy days, one after another after another, it's just you know, this is not a way to live. It's very depressing. So thank you for watching.